Hey everyone, it's Riya Shri and Merry Christmas to all of you. Today's video is a weekend vlog and I hope you will like this one. Weekends are usually very precious to me, but this weekend is even more special because of two reasons. First, my parents are visiting and I am meeting them after so long and second, it's Christmas today. Earlier we had some other plans for this weekend but because of the coming covid news we have decided to celebrate indoors with good food and quality family time Well it's a winter morning and garma garam paratha and chai is a must Here we are preparing methi ke parathe for breakfast today Paratha and chai is a match made in heaven. At least that's what I feel. <laughs> It's my favorite breakfast. Do you also like this combination? Do let me know in the comments below. We are done with the breakfast and I am in the kitchen to prepare for the lunch. Lunch is Kolkata style chicken biryani today and for that I need to marinate the chicken first. I have taken 1 kg chicken here and to that I'm adding salt, kashmiri lal mirch powder, coriander powder, cumin powder and 3 to 4 tablespoons of biryani masala. To that I'm adding 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, 200 grams curd and 4 tablespoons of mustard oil. Now give everything a nice mix and keep it aside for at least 30 minutes. Potato and eggs are masked in Kolkata biryani, so here I am putting some eggs for boiling. Meanwhile eggs are getting boiled, I need to take care of the living room mess. We have recently ordered a TV which will get delivered today and the TV connection is provided in this wall so I am planning to change the sofa position.
Let's get back to the cooking now. First step is to wash and soak 3 cups of biryani basmati rice and next is preparing biresta. As onion takes some time to cook and I am also running late today so side by side I will also start cooking the chicken as well. Finally the beresta is done, half I will take out for later use and rest I will add to the chicken. At this time only I will also add the potatoes. Give everything a nice mix and continue cooking until the chicken is 80% done. For rice add whole spices and generous amount of salt to the boiling water. Let the whole spices release their flavor in the water for 2-3 to three minutes and then add the soaked rice. Boil the rice until it becomes 70% cooked or breaks into 3 parts while pressing between the fingers. Now layer the rice over the cooked chicken, also add khova or 2 tablespoons of milk powder, beresta, add boiled eggs, ghee, kesar soaked in warm milk, Kolkata biryani is known for its aroma so do consider adding half teaspoons of both rose and kevra water. Also add one or two drops of mitha adar. And then it's time for dum cooking. 5 minutes on high flame, 25 minutes on low flame. Then switch off the gas and let it rest for 15 more minutes. And the biryani is all ready to eat. It's Christmas today and eating cake is a must, so in the evening we cut a plum cake and celebrated Christmas. Ever since I have moved out of Bengal, every winter I used to crave for Nolen Gur, Roshogulla, Shondesh, Paesh and whatnot. <laughs> but this year as my parents were visiting me, they brought some amazing Nolen Gur and I couldn't resist myself from preparing Nolen Gur at Paesh. This winter if you are visiting West Bengal, do try Nolen Gur and Mishti, some Roshogulla or Shondesh. I can promise Bengal won't disappoint you. So that was all about for today everyone. I hope you will like this one and if so please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll meet you in the next video till then take care and bye bye.